Hey gamers, before I tell you more about these incredible mugs, I just wanna say that this is our giveaway for the month of February, 2020. Patreon supporters have a chance at winning one of these uh, based on winner's choice. Every month a Patreon supporter is drawn in a raffle to receive a gift, whether that's a game or a piece of terrain. So this month, we're gonna be giving away a painted mythic mug of the winner's choice. So if you wanna get in on that, go ahead and click below in the descriptions to become a patron. So these are the 3D printed mugs, mythic mugs from Ars Moriendi. They just had a Kickstarter and delivered these initial files to backers recently. And in the next couple of months, they're gonna be releasing the unlocked stretch goals where a number of other mugs were unlocked and we don't even know the designs of them. But I just wanna say, even the original 14 was worth the money. And as you can see, I printed these out. Just really quickly, I have a Prusa MK3S and I've printed these all at 0.2 millimeters. And that has produced, I think, uh, plenty of detail in these fine mugs. And at the end of the video, I'll show you just a painting tutorial of a couple of the mugs, not all of them, just to get you started. They're very easy to paint. And so I'm very impressed by these mugs. And it just adds a lot of flavor to your game group as they come over, as all of the basic classes that you find in role-playing games are represented. And so I think these just are a lot of fun. So for those of you who might be wondering, um, the way that these tall mugs deal with a regular 12 ounce can is you print out these inserts and conveniently they say 12 ounces and you just slip it in there and slip the can in there as well. And so you, you can drink out of these if you want and pour directly. I, I'm choosing not to. These are basically can and bottle holders. And so for me, uh, this works out really well. Also for beer bottles, you go ahead and print out this insert and you slip your bottle of choice and then that all fits into the cup itself as well. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, what happens when you tilt it, will it fall out? Yes, obviously if you tilt it upside, upside down, it'll fall out. But unless you're an idiot and you're pouring the drink into your mouth like this, most people are pressing it up against their lips, so it's not gonna fall out. But overall, I'm really impressed by these and the designs that I printed out look really cool. Their basic tavern mug, which is this one, doesn't need an insert, but one of the cool things is it comes with this top that you can choose to put on there and the cans can fit in here without an insert. And the beer bottle also can fit in there like this. It's a little bit tall in this tavern mug, but the cans actually look pretty good in here. And in all honesty, I wish some of these mugs were just these short little squat dudes as well, but um, I guess I can't complain too much. I don't actually ever drink the really tall cans, but you can fit those in there as well. And here's another tip. I print all of my mugs with the threading for the top in them because eventually they're gonna release um, files that have these tops that are specific to each one of these. And in the meantime, there's a generic one that's like this that will fit all of these mugs. And so overall, you're not missing anything by, uh, by printing the threads because when the can goes in, it covers up those threads anyway. So why not go ahead and create a version where the top can go on? And why, why might you want a top for your mugs? Well, you can put a lot of things in there other than drinks. And so this is the squat version, the dice uh, holder version of the mug. And as you can see here, it's a great way to store bits or chips or dice. So I think that's a fun way just to bring out some flavor. Right now, this basic mug is the only one that comes with a squat uh, version, but I know they have it as part of the stretch goals to have these squat versions for some of these other styles as well. I don't know if they are making these commercially available for those who didn't back it. I hope they do, and I think there are a couple of people who bought the license to print these out and sell them. So I'm sure that these will be hitting Etsy stores pretty soon if they haven't already. So check that out if you missed out on the Kickstarter. Or you can email Ars Moriendi, go to the Kickstarter page, find out their information and see how you can get your hands on these awesome STL files. So again, uh, I'll close out just with a couple of close-ups of each of the ones that I printed out and then have a really quick tutorial on the craft paints that I used in order to paint all of these. 
So go ahead and click like and subscribe if you want to stay abreast of more gaming news, as well as uh, printing out 3D terrain and printing out these awesome accessories for your gamers. We'll see you next time.